G'day folks, Ed here from Ed Systems. Just thought I'd do a brief tour of the workshop. Here we've got the uh, plastic shredder Mark II. Stainless steel bandsaw, formerly a meat saw, now used for cutting plastic and timber. This is the Howard engine after much cleaning and polishing and painting. Got the basic drill press, tool and cutter grinder. Another monsterized Chinese drill press. Top of the spindle snapped off under the tension of the V-belt, so I replaced that with a much better single speed system for slugging holes. Various grinding machines. Not all of them work at the moment. Electrolysis system, de-rusting and cleaning. Also good for generating hydrogen. That's the cooling coils for it. When, it. when it's running on a hot day, the solution almost gets to boiling point, so I've decided to pump it through a coil system to cool it down. Various tooling and bits. The 9 inch south bend lathe. It's still set up on the temporary bench. The belt driver assembly normally runs from underneath, but because I set it up for a temporary test, it's all mounted over the top. I restored this one about 12 months ago. I think it took about 6 months worth of work. And probably about $150 worth of materials to clean it up. Well, the machine itself didn't cost me anything since it was almost in boat anchor condition. More tooling and bits. The heads from a Holden 253. Very rough and nasty. I'm going to be looking for replacements for these. The block is salvageable but the heads are really bad. See the burnt valve on this one here indicating why the engine was initially put aside. Air cleaner for the Howard motor. Various small engines. Little German one. Victor lawnmower engine. Another German Robin whippersnipper motor. Have these surplus filter dryer canisters make good exhaust pipes for these things. Coils, shop back, <coughs> microwave box, <coughs> various spare parts, photocopier bits, laptop computers, pneumatics, contactors, switches, you name it, it's all here. Cabling, refrigeration spares, brass shells. I'm a bit of a military collector myself, so. I'm always polishing and machining new projectiles for dummy rounds. The chainsaw I'm doing up, old 1960s era still. Various bits and pieces, tubes, air conditioning. Must have around here at the moment since it's almost 120 degrees Fahrenheit. A computer and audio system. More dummy ammo and collections. Got to have a computer in the workshop. The obligatory World of Warcraft screensaver in the background. Scope. Old tube bits. More air conditioning and ventilation systems. Dual stage fan. Other junk. Variable speed drives. Car tires, you name it. It's all here. Power hacksaw made from a washing machine. Lathe. And I'm just about out of time.